take another left through the window. After you. They've played the perfect gentleman and the baddest of boys. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down the top 10 hottest British and Irish actors. How do you prepare for a makeout scene? A bottle of wine and some whiskey. <laughs> for this list, we're taking a look at the most attractive male actors who hail from the UK and Ireland. We've based our selections on their physical appeal, as well as how they conduct themselves on and off the screen. What it's is weird. it, your voice? What do you think it is? Why do they keep making you a giant? I don't know, but I, I, <laughs> I wish it was the case in real life, but it's not. No, I think you're perfect. <laughs> Number 10, Christian Bale. I turned up at this and everyone kind of went, well, look at that, you're out doing everyone else, aren't you? <laughs> this Oscar winner is known for going beyond the call of duty in terms of physical transformations for his roles. He had this air about him, and he had this confidence that drew me to him. He was who he was. He didn't care. From the bloated con man in American Hustle to the frail, disturbed loner of The Machinist, we have to give Mr. Bale major props for truly becoming the character. Hey, perfect fit. <sighs> but that's not to say he can't play sexy on both sides of the spectrum. As the caped crusader, he showed that Bruce Wayne was both charming and beefy. As Patrick Bateman, he was ripped as hell, while also being murderously psychotic. <laughs> Good or bad, we never get tired of seeing him on the silver screen. What would it mean for you to have another kind of award like that at this point in your career? Oh, of course, it'd be wonderful. I'm human, you know what I mean? I love it when other human beings give me a pat on the back and say they appreciate uh, my work. Number nine, Theo James. There were a fair few contenders that we would take from the teen novel to film subgenre, and while Sam Claflin of the Hunger Games franchise certainly fits the bill, our vote had to go to the male lead of the Divergent series. It's easy to see why he made fans weak at the knees with this dauntless appeal, or how his scenes with Shailene Woodley made them die of jealousy. We're good. You and me. I know nothing else is but we are. We have to admit, though, that it's good to see he's not afraid to extend to playing assholes as well, as any in-betweeners fan would tell you. Give me your pants, I'll be back before you know it with your 100 euros. Sorry, this has gone too far. Simon, do not take your pants off. Stop always telling me what to do, Will. I'm an adult. James is doing me a favor. What are you doing, eh? Number eight, Jude Law. I think this just might be my favorite position. How sexy is this man, you ask? Well, he once dressed in drag and even made men blush because he's that attractive. I love myself. A master of the romantic lead, his performance in The Holiday shows that his charm can be infectious. Sex makes everything complicated. Even when you don't have it, but not having it makes things complicated. Which is why it's usually better to have it. Of course, there's also the fact among many fans, he's the favorite incarnation of Sherlock Holmes's faithful companion, Dr. John Watson. Watson, what have you done? Whether he's saving a life or snuffing one out, he does it with style. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get that. I gotta get that. Yeah, I gotta get that, yeah, we'll get that fix, Yeah. Number seven, Tom Hiddleston. Then you will open the Bifrost to no one until I have repaired the damage that my brother has done. Who would have thought the devious Loki would end up having even more sex appeal than the mighty Thor? While this actor has successfully extended his reach beyond the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the impact he made as the god of mischief created a devout group of followers, who cutely describe themselves as Hiddlestoners. And then the Hiddlestoners get Hiddle boners. <laughs> <laughs> this all comes from him, not me. I'm not making this, I'm not making this. It's not hard to see why. His ever-charming demeanor and nice-guy attitude is always endearing to watch on and off camera, not to mention he has a voice that could thaw the polar ice caps. So long as men can breathe, or eyes can see, so long lives this, and this gives life to thee. Number six, Idris Elba. Well, you know, usually when you take a fall, you get right back in there because you know nobody's watching, right? He may have thrived on the wire as the morally corrupt Stringer Bell, but this London-born actor is a class act. <laughs> what a handsome boy. He looks just like you. You think so? <laughs> Most people think he looks like the beautiful Sharon. Often playing mavericks that will do anything to secure their goal, Mr. Elba has shown himself to be a down-to-earth gentleman who happens to have a smile that has a seeing stars. His dedication to the role of the late, great Nelson Mandela was heartwarming, and the actor currently has us enthralled with his role as the brilliant and cunning Detective John Luther. 
Because I wanted to tell you that I know you kept the gun, and sooner or later I'll find it. Well, why would I do that? Well, you just couldn't help yourself, could you? When it comes time for the next James Bond to be cast, we know who we're voting for. Oh my god, he's like a black George Clooney. Number five, Jamie Dornan. Nice town. Take off your shoes. Needless to say, nobody went to see Fifty Shades of Grey for its plot and characters. This won't happen, but I have quite pronounced calf muscles. <laughs> However, there's nothing wrong in acknowledging that Mr. Dornan was the best Mr. Grey we could ever get. I remember when I heard that they were making uh, the Fifty Shades of Grey books into... I hadn't read them at that stage, but I heard they are going to make a film. I remember going, well, that would be... That'll be a big deal. <laughs> I never thought for a second I'd have any involvement in it whatsoever, but I remember thinking that'd be a big deal. Besides playing the titular billionaire, the Irish actor extended his range to both a villainous serial killer in The Fall and love-struck fool in Flying Home. I'm Isabel. I'm Colin. Colin Evans. Whether you like the signature tie or not, he will still make hearts flutter with every performance. Then I would bend you over. Right here? Yes. On this table. Yes. Number four, Kit Harrington. You have quite a following. <laughs> the ladies love Kit Harrington. Yes, it's true. There's an abundance of gorgeous and broken characters in Game of Thrones, that it was a trial by combat just to choose one. We should've. We should. While we were swayed by Prince Charming himself, Richard Madden, we had to cave in and give it to Lord Snow. Often referred to as pretty by every other character on the show, we're very much inclined to agree. He's played a super spy, gladiator, and a member of the Night's Watch, and he looks damn good in each and every role. What the hell do you know about being a bastard? All dwarves are bastards in their father's eyes. Number three, Michael Fassbender. From all the iconic roles he's played, you'd be forgiven for not knowing about this actor's Irish heritage. I said back off! <sighs> you. You did this. A star in multiple franchises, including in the X-Men and Tarantino universes, he's received award nominations for his roles as a slave owner and a sex addict, not to mention a starring role as Shakespeare's Macbeth and in Ridley Scott's Prometheus. Portraying characters with sharp exteriors and shattered interiors, there's no denying it's a delight to watch Mr. Fassbender light up the screen with both his talent and his dashing looks. You guys have described your character as kind of a love story between you two. You think there's a love story element to it, and the fans see it as well. Number two, Henry Cavill. What's your favorite superpower? Uh, laser eyes. Now, who can do laser eyes? Superman. A Superman, yes. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's the sexiest Superman. After spending the early part of his career seducing the ladies of King Henry's court in the Tudors, Cavill dazzled DC fans with his take on the Man of Steel. While fans may still debate on who wore the red and blue better, we can't deny that he really, really nailed the physique. More recently, he proved that he looks damn good in a suit, as seen in Guy Ritchie's The Man From U.N.C.L.E. Spandex or silk, Mr. Cavill wears it like a champion. So you like Superman? No, Batman. Batman. Oh. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few steamy honorable mentions. Okay. Uh, so is this a new haircut? I haven't seen you in a while, but is this brand new? Uh, yeah, I think it's three three days old. Three days old? Mm. No, I'm single and, and yeah. How long have you been single for now? Six years now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, do it, do it, do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. Look at Yeah, nice, nice. <laughs> That's very good. Number one, Tom Hardy. Your spirit! <laughs> oh, your bunny! He's the man who broke the bat, left Leonardo DiCaprio for dead, and put the mad back into Mad Max. The UK's very own Adonis, Hardy has proven himself a modern legend when it comes to acting, while still managing to come across as both incredibly intimidating and an utter sweetheart at the same time. I love you. Okay, I made one mistake. 
I don't feel anything for this woman. He'll make your stomach drop as Locke and Bronson, while making your pulse race as Eames and Handsome Bob. Oh, and for those who don't know, he is the king of dub smash. We eagerly await much, much more from the charming Mr. Hardy. You're more than welcome to come with us. Well, I'll make my own way. Do you agree with our list? Oh, oh God, it's even worse than I imagined. <laughs> Which British and Irish actor do you believe is the hottest? And I, at 4.30 in the morning with a mouthful of blood and raw chicken. <laughs> it was the wrong call. For more top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. So I used to get like plastic spiders or plastic sort of insects and I'd put them in her shoes for the day. Oh. I'd, and I'd go in my trailer and I'd just wait for it and it, <laughs> like I got here this scream. <laughs>